Brad, the impeachment trial will be the first one since former President Bill Clinton's more than 20 years ago. As House managers prepare to start presenting their case tomorrow, some tri-state representatives who voted against it in the House say they already know how it will end. Senators, I attend the Senate in conformity with your notice for the purpose of joining with you for the trial of the President of the United States. On Tuesday, these senators start hearing the case presented by House managers. President Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Everyone knows how it's going to turn out. Donald Trump's not going to be removed from office. Congressman James Comer voted against impeachment in the House. He claims if the trial lasts several weeks, it will take away time from other issues. We need to be debating health care. We need to be debating prescription drug costs. We need to be debating things that we can do to help uh, in this trade war. But the Democrats are obsessed with impeachment. Democratic House managers are asking for witnesses to be allowed to testify during the trial as part of their case. But Kentucky Congressman Brett Guthrie says that testimony should have been done in the House during their hearings. They could have allowed these guys to come testify. What would have happened? The president would have exerted executive privilege. Then they would have gone through the court case. The same thing would happen now. And so we have to look at why didn't Speaker Pelosi do that? Last week, Indiana Senator Mike Braun said he was okay with allowing witness testimony during the Senate trial as long as Trump's lawyers could call witnesses too. In Ellensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.